This quick guide will help you install your new Labconco flask scrubber or steam scrubber glassware washer. Refer to your instruction manual for details and important precautions. You'll need a socket driver, a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, a crescent wrench, a razor knife, pliers, and a level. First unlock and open the door by inserting the supplied Allen key into the hole in the control panel. You'll find important installation components inside. Carefully place the washer on its back so you can remove the shipping bolts and install the leveling feet. Verify the hot water temperature and pressure requirements specified for your washer and its quick start guide. And connect the water supply with a standard appliance style hose. To allow for easy maintenance, install a hot water inlet shutoff valve and allow an extra three feet of hose behind the washer. If you plan to use pure water rinses in your washer, it can function with either a pressurized or non-pressurized pure water supply. Your manual provides details and specific parameters. For some containers, such as a carboy, 3 8 inch ID tubing can be used with an adapter. Skip this step if you're not using pure water rinses. If using a carboy, Make sure that it's properly vented to allow water to flow and that the hose remains submerged below the water line at all times. Now connect your purified water system or pure water container, also using an appliance style hose. Now you're ready to connect your glassware washer to a power supply. Most 115 volt and 230 volt models require a 20 amp circuit and 230 volt three phase models require a 30 amp circuit. Make certain the power to the circuit you're working with has been turned off. Remove your washer's lower toe kick panel by removing the five screws. Remove the electrical box by loosening the two screws on each side of the washer base and removing one screw located at the lower center of the box. Without disconnecting the existing wiring, carefully pull the electrical box out enough to gain access to its back. Now carefully route the electrical supply wire through the strain relief clamp located on the back center of the base to the strain relief clamp on the back of the electrical box. Connect your service wires to the appropriate colored wires indicated in the diagram on your quick start guide. These wiring diagrams are also included in your quick start guide and user manual. Make certain the wiring connections match the wiring diagram for the voltage of your unit. Connect the ground wire from the supply cable to the ground stud on the electrical box using a quarter inch lug or ring terminal. Secure the cable with the two strain relief clamps at the back of the electrical box and the back of the base. Leave a three foot service loop on the power supply cable to move the washer out from under a counter for service. Carefully reinstall the electrical box. Make sure the slack from the cable doesn't interfere with the washer's internal wiring, the pump fans, or the drain valve linkage. In the washer's final location, check to ensure it's reasonably level. If installing under a counter, center the washer door in the opening by adjusting the front leveling feet. Next, connect your washer to the countertop using two screws to stabilize your washer. Now turn on electrical power, hot water, and purified water sources, and run the washer in diagnostic mode to test all systems. Your Labconco glassware washer is ready to use.